Devarim or Deuteronomy 13 dwelling, dealing with the false prophets <clears throat> a prophet or a diviner of dreams may arise among you give you an omen or a miracle that takes place and then he may tell you let's follow other gods whom you have not known and let's serve them even though the sign or portent comes to pass. You must not listen to the words of that prophet or that diviner of dreams, for Yehovah or Yahweh, your Elohim, is testing you to make known whether, ye, whether or not you continue to love Yehovah, your Elohim, with all your heart and soul. You must follow Jehovah, your Elohim, fear him, observe his commandments, listen to his voice, serve him and cling to him. That prophet or diviner of dreams must be executed because he advocate advocated rebellion against Jehovah your Elohim who brought you from the land of Egypt and redeem you from the house of slavery and because he lured you from the way in which Jehovah your Elohim instructed to live purge the evil from among you your own blood brother your son your daughter your beloved wife your friend who is like your soulmate may entice you quietly he may tell you let's go and serve other gods whom neither you knew no, your ancestors have known from the guides of the people that surround you, whether near or far from you, from one end of the earth to the other. You must not yield to him. Listen to him, look pity on him, look with pity on him, show compassion to him, or even cover up for him. You, but you must surely execute him. You must be the first to put him to death. With your own hand and then the hands of the whole community stone him to death because he sought to lure you from Yehovah your Elohim who brought you from the land of Egypt from the land of slavery then all Israel will will hear about it be afraid and won't do this evil thing again among you you may hear in one of your towns that Yehovah your Elohim is giving you to inhabit. That work, less men have come from among you to entice those who live in the towns. They may say, let's go and serve other gods that you have not known. You must thoroughly investigate and inquire if it is true that this detestable thing exists among you. If it is so, then put the inhabitants of the town to death by the sword. Devote everything in it to divine destruction, even its livestock by the sword. Gather whatever your ta- you have taken as spoils at a public square of the town. Then burn the town along with whatever you've taken as an offering to your Vayu Elohim. It will remain a permanent mount of ruins, never to be rebuilt again. Moreover, you must never take any item for those condemned things. So Yuva may yet relent from his burning anger and extend compassion, have mercy, and cause you to increase in number, as he promised by oath to your ancestors. If you obey the voice of Jehovah your Elohim by observing all his commands that I'm commanding you today, do what is there right in the sight of Jehovah your Elohim. Now I would like to stop a bit of the reading and give a short commentary. I just remember it re- recalls me uh, from this, um, you know, rebuild groups here internationally. And um, this group of religion, uh, so-called ISIS, 
I have seen in the TV, but I don't know exactly in the reality that they are breaking all what are statutes. You know, it's really interesting nowadays that it has said here the reason is to break or to to broke down all what in that statue that it will remain a permanent mount of ruins never to be rebuilt again so you can see them when you go to the christian churches they destroy or the catholic churches they destroy the 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 statue they break it to pieces and lately just recently in the philippines in a so-called i don't know was this group there the rebel groups who entered the the catholic church with all the statue have been pulled down and they broke into pre- to pieces so it's really really amazing that you know before it is the children of israel as Elohim instructed them to do that when they go to the other nation when they, be, when they try to snare and snare there or lure them then they must they must um, karang, karang, how do you call that they must uh, totally you know plane it to, bro- to, to break to pieces but now have you seen because the children of Israel is scattered in the four corners on the earth and they are hidden they are hidden it was, this was the curse that Yehovah gave to the children of Israel because of the disobedient of the children of Israel by serving serving other gods they were been scattered this is and we know that so now these people are the one who do to, to what Jehovah said to break all the statue, all what their gods in the town, in the city. So this is really interesting for me. It's amazing how Elohim working in this world. This is a true living Elohim which no other to serve no other